thanks for joining us for a special uh, story time with uh, Grace. Grace edition. Yeah, Grace edition uh, to celebrate the 4th of July. We thank you for joining us today. Um, and I know a lot of us can't celebrate together, so we're glad you are joining us virtually. Uh, Grace, do you know what the 4th of July is or Independence Day? Um, no. No, and that's okay because we're learning, right? Did you know that the 4th of July is the United States of America's birthday? Yeah. You do? Uh-huh. When is your birthday? Do you know your birthday? It's November. November 26th. Good job. And how about you guys? When's your birthdays out there? Uh, and how do you celebrate your birthday? How do you celebrate your birthday? Um, I don't know. You don't have a, do you have a party? Do you um, have a jump house? Oh, you have a jump house, a bounce house. How about you guys? What do you and guys I jump do? I with my friends. Oh, and you jump with your friends. Do you guys now, get jump houses? I jump with Mackenzie. Oh, with her cousin Mackenzie in Florida. Yeah, your last birthday was in Florida, huh? Yes? Um, uh, I, this is mine, and this is me. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the USA also has their birthday, and their birthday is the 4th of July. And, I'm just kidding, my and guess how old the United States of America is going to be this year? How old? How old? What? How old do you think the United States of America is going to be this year? Uh, I don't know. 244 years old. Uh, Isn't that cool? Yes, Miss Grace. Uh, I was just playing my puppy. <laughs> yes. So we can bear with me. Yeah. I also have one more question. What do you guys usually do to celebrate the Fourth of July? What do you do, Miss Grace? Um, put Fourth of July decoration with my mom. Yeah, we decorate our house. We also watch fireworks usually at the California Center for the Arts, and we when listen to music. When the coping was. Yeah, when the COVID wasn't here. You are very, very right. So this year it's a little different, huh? We'll be celebrating all at home. Um, so we hope you guys join uh, the center's virtual programming all day. We have events going on every single hour. So we hope that you tune in. Yes, Miss Grace. Uh, but we can still play on the street and fly with our friends. Yes, this is very, very true. All right, shall we get started with our story, Age yeah. for America? Yeah? Okay, let's yes. do it. Wait, maybe show them something. Okay. Well, I'm going to read it, and then we'll show them the picture. How's that sound? Go tell Matt and Ian and Madison and Bo and Griffin, Quinn, and Christian and everyone you know. Tell Andy, Bryson, Mason, Kirby, Addison, and Erica, shout it from the highest hill. That A is for... America! Good job. All right. B can be for Boston in the Battle of Bunker Hill. B can be Boston in Bunker Hill. Oh, good. And breaking from the British who ruled here until a band of brave believers behind a boisterous yell yeah. brought forth a brand new nation and banged the Liberty Bell. I have a Liberty Brown. <laughs> C is for the cities that reach into the blue like Chicago, Cleveland, Charlotte, and Cincinnati do. And it's for the Constitution that guides us still today, written for we the people to find a better way. That is Charlotte, North Carolina. Wait, what is that? Can you guys think of other cities that start with C? Mom, what is this? That's tape. They're, these are all postcards and they use tape. Mommy, what are the postcards? Postcards. Yeah. It's when you go visit places, and you can send them Mom, to people can or we collect get them. Um, a, a, a zoo map and uh, to put on our wall to put stickers like Alice has in her room. To Absolutely. Put stickers where they go. Yes, ma'am. All right. D is for Detroit and its shiny automobiles. It's called the Motor City, and it put the world on wheels. It's Dallas, Denver, Dover, Delaware. It's the Dakotas in December when snow is in the air. Um, how does, how do they make cars? <gasps> they make them in big giant factories. But real cars. Yeah, real cars. We're going to have to go to Detroit to figure that out, huh? 
Has anyone been to Detroit before? Who makes Have you been to Detroit? No. No. Me Who too. makes animal? <laughs> Animals? Yeah. All right. E is the elegant eagle soaring above the hill and the ever flowing Everglades were eager to eat their fill. E is an endless echo in the Grand Canyon at dawn and Eureka, it's Thomas Edison turning the light bulb on. F is for the fireworks that fly on the floor. F fourth. is for the fireworks. Yeah, the from floor. Fort Worth in the south to Fargo in the north. F is 50 fluttering flags and 50 license plates, 50 fine state capitals, and 50 United States. G is for the gold rush that swept the Golden State and gave us California. That's where we are, huh? Yeah. Are you guys all from California? With its grand golden gate. Where's the golden gate? Do you know where the golden gate bridge is? No. Yeah, you went there when you were little. It's in San Francisco. Have you guys gone can, to the golden gate can bridge? Can I go there? Cause I don't know what it looks like. Yeah, you don't remember. And for Alaska's glaciers that glisten on the coast and the gushing of a geyser that hovers like a ghost. So can we go there again? <gasps> hovers like ghosts. <laughs> Yes, we can definitely go there again. Had you been there, guys? Right? Have you guys been there? Yeah. <laughs> you can drive there and you can walk on the Golden Gate. It's really cool. H stands for Hemingway and Huckleberry Finn. Huckleberry Finn? Hydroelectric Hoover Dam and so many Holiday Inns, Hot Dogs in Hawaii. Henry Ford and his car. I want to go to Hawaii. Oh, I want to too. Maybe when this is all over, we can go to Hawaii. What do you say? Yeah, all together with Rory and Mackenzie and Alara and Al. <laughs> Heading home on Halloween with chocolate Hershey bars. Do you guys like Halloween? I love Halloween. Right. I is indeed important. How America came to be. It's the idea that an individual can insist on being free. And I is for immigration and the immigrants who came from Italy, Ireland, or India. We're Americans all the same. Yes, Grace. Uh, I will really miss you. <laughs> the vlog. Yeah. My parents were immigrants. They came from the Philippines. And so I am first generation American here. And Grace is second. <laughs> yes, Miss Grace. My birthday is in November 14th. Yeah, it's in November, November 26th. All right, what's after What's the, after the letter I in the alphabet? Does anyone know? <gasps> yes, Grace. Um, look at our 4th of July. <laughs> That's not the letter after I. The letter after I is J. From Jamestown to James Monroe, we need the letter J. It's not for Thomas Jefferson. If not for Thomas Jefferson, where would we be today? It's Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and the jiggle that Jello has. It's a jam session jumping with the musical we call jazz. All right, after the letter J comes the letter K. Kitty Hawk in Kansas and Kodiak Bears. King Kamehameha, Kellogg's Rice Krispie Squares. K is, for two, K is for two kinds of king. George III, who was defeated, and Martin Luther Jr., whom our troubled nation needed. Who knows what comes after the letter K? Grace, what letter? Uh, J. After uh, J became, uh, J came before K. After K is L. L. I was going to say that because what? Yeah. But I thought it wasn't. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln gets all of L. It's elementary, you see. He held us all together and at the same time set us free. His memorial in Washington makes him a giant of a man. Or look upon a smaller one, the penny in our hand. Did you guys know that Abraham Lincoln is on the penny? Yeah. Yes. All right. Next letter is M. M is Mayflower Minuteman Motown Manatee. 
And this for Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mouse Monopoly. M can seem so mighty when it's river rolling by. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S 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 -I -P -P -I, the Mississippi. Yes, Miss Grace, you um, have a question? Yeah. After L, it comes M. Good job. What's after M? Uh, oh, a, oh, no cheating. A. N. <laughs> okay, Norman Rockwell, Niagara Falls, a night in New Mexico, New Orleans, and Native American. N is for Navajo and NASA and Neil Armstrong, who reached the moon to find that it was one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Did any of you guys see the rocket that just went into space? It's really cool. All right. What's after N? Uh, oh. Oh, very good. The Old West, the OK Corral, the Old Oregon Trail, an old honorary old law, outlaw, an owl on a rail. Old Faithful, Old Glory, and old, Gold Old Oreos, and Overlook in the Ozarks for the occasional opossum goes. Who likes Oreos? I love Oreos. Do you love Oreos? Yeah. Especially when you dip them in milk. They're so good, right? What a good special treat. Yes, Grace? Um, the O comes oh. in the ABC song too. Yeah. What letter comes after O? P. P. Good job, Gracie. All right, the letter P. Pike's Peak and peanut butter. That's the letter P. Plymouth Rock and Pilgrims at Peril on the Sea. Rosa Parks, Parades, Popcorn in a Pan. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where it all began. Q is for the quill that John Hancock used to place his quite creative signature in the most important space. It's for the American Quarter and the Bob White Quail and the quilts that kept the Quakers warm in Pennsylvania Gale. A remote reach of the Rockies, the reflection of Mount Rainier, the regal ridge of Mount Rushmore, the ride of Paul Revere, the Roosevelt's Franklin and Teddy, Babe Ruth rock and roll, Rosie the Riveter, the Rio Grande, and remember the Alamo. Stand and salute the stars and stripes, a symbol to celebrate, a stripe for each of the colonies and a star for every state. Susan B. Anthony, Sierra Nevada, a steam locomotive train, Sitting Bull and Samuel Clemens, better known as Mark Twain. A T as tall as Texas for Thanksgiving and telephone, Harry as Truman, Harriet Tubman, and trips to the Twilight Zone. Times Square on New Year's Eve, a tasty Tootsie Roll, turning timber into a tall and towering totem pole. What's after T? Grace, do you know what letters after T? Um, yeah. You, good job. You takes up us up to Utah, unafraid of an upcoming storm. It's undeniably Ulysses S. Grant in his Union uniform. It's also Uncle Tom's cabin, which helped us understand the uncommon things we must hold, uphold for dear old Uncle Sam. I have an Uncle Sam ass. You do. V is for the veterans and the valor they display and vying for vital victories and the sacrifices they made. V is for Virginia and Vermont and Vikings too. It seems they got here long before Columbus was able to. W. 
Wheeling, West Virginia, Walt Disney, a wagon train, World War I and World War II, the World Series in John Wayne, stands for Washington, who wintered at Valley Forge, city, state, and president, all named for him by George. Who knows what that castle is? Does anyone know what that castle is? Disneyland. Good job. The letter X should remind us of the importance of election day. When all Americans rich and poor are allowed to have their say. Some were told they couldn't vote even if they couldn't write their name. So they signed the ballot with a letter X and it counted just the same. Did you know that? That's a really cool fact. Yes, Miss Grace. Um, weren't you gonna ask what comes after the letter that was after? Yeah, what's after the letter X? <laughs> oh, are you peeking? Yeah, Why is for yellow? Why can make you hungry as Yogi Bear has shown? Out yonder you'll find Y for Yosemite and Yellowstone. The Y can be a place for fun like the YMCA. And in the Bronx, it's Yankee Stadium where the New York Yankees play. Has anyone been to New York before? Yeah. <gasps> New York is so much fun. I've been there. You've been to New York? You haven't been to New York yet. Can you bring me? Yeah, I will bring you there one day. We'll go see a Broadway musical live one day. That's Joshua Tree. What is the last letter of the alphabet? Uh, a. Z. Z. Because what is Z? Oh, yeah. Z is for Zane Gray, who wrote stories about the West. Z is also for zip codes, mm -hmm. but I think that I like this. For Z to remind us of us of Whitcomb Judson, as clever as he could be, he gave us the magical zipper in 1893. It's a, split, it's a special place, this land of ours, from sea to shining sea, and now you know it from America's A all the way to Zipper Z. And that completes our story for today. Uh, a is for America. Well, we just wanted to say thank you for joining us and we hope that you tune in um, for the next every hour until our finale with our traditional Marine Band performance um, and a special message from our mayor as well as our executive director, Jerry Van Leeuwen. So thank you so much again for joining Grace and I for story time and earlier for Crafts with Grace. Uh, but we just wanted to wish you and all of your family a happy 4th of July. And hopefully we can all be together next year to celebrate with a big thing with lots of fireworks and music and dancing. Um, we all missed everyone. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, bye. bye.